Hey guys, you're watching Simon and I'm Lee. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a City. Last episode, we done a brand new thing, never done before, of merging two different buildings together. It was two different images uh, sent in. One was uh, the Panda Express Gourmet Chinese Restaurant, and the other one was Firebird's Wood Fired Grill Restaurant. And we merged the two styles together. It had it was a traditional, a traditional and modern, and we sort of mashed them together and ended up with this really cool, easy on the ice, these sort of light colours and then these sort of darker accents. And I really, really like the look of it. It's a nice square building, which every, well, well, pretty much square building, which everyone's always uh, sort of pleased to see. It's got the oh, so many different colours built into the walls. The sugar cane is there just for the sort of pan. I'm going to call it the Panda Restaurant because I just like the name of it with all the sugar cane around it. This sort of car park on the edge. This sort of nice front entrance here and a drive through which is something that I've never seen from a Chinese restaurant before. Let's get these uh, arrows down through the drive through first. We're going to want this one, this one, this one, and this one. So we know what way you've got to come in and what way you have to go out. Uh, we want to put these down here as like a giveaway. Do not drive up here. You know, no entry. Uh, we want an arrow on the floor. How did I used to do these? Oops. I do have one pretty close by. I think it's... Is it three blocks? I have a drive through yeah, over here. I think it's three... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then that one's longer because it's got, like, two different directions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, and then we want another arrow over here, then. One, two, three. And then... Where'd the other one go? And there. Perfect. Okay, so that's then really easy to tell. I might put another arrow. I know... You can't really turn around on it, but it would just make sense, I think, to have another arrow here. That one and that one. Okay, on the drive throughs I want to get glass, but I'm going to get white stained glass, and I'm only going to put them on the top two blocks. So it's like a shutter. I know we've got black windows on the other windows, but on the drive through ones, I want them to be white. I think it looks a little bit smarter, and they can close them down. I think that looks really cool. Don't need any sort of fence or wall. I like the sort of path design that we've got here. And I said that we we're going to try and do the interior today. We, it's been ages since we've done an interior to a building. And you guys are always craving uh, to do interiors. So we'll try and do uh, the interior today as well. One feature that I did miss off that I want to try and get in is this sort of... It's not it's not like overhead cover, but it's just like an overhead design that looked really cool. We'll use um, fences. I was, thinking, try, I was in my head then I was... Uh, I imagined it with cobblestone walls, and then I imagined it with fences, and I was like, no, fences look better. So uh, we'll use some fences. I'm going to have to have that to go there, and that that to go there, and that to go... No, I don't think I want it that far. I think I just want to add to here. And we're going to have this up here and up here. And then these just sort of flow back to the building like this. We have that one. I might put it one block further in front of the fences as well. Like out here. And then hopefully it doesn't quite work out exactly. I wanted uh, like a, a, a gap between each one. So we had one here, one there, and then one there. I might just do that anyway then. It's not going to be perfectly in line, but uh, it should look okay. We should be okay. That one, that one, that one. And then put these back here and there. And then we need some sort of block to connect these up. Seeing as though we're on the bottom half, I should be able to use a block like this to just try and connect them together underneath nice and smart. That one and this one. Okay, I don't like that slab. I like the design. I just don't like using that slab. Maybe the white will uh, work a little bit better. Quartz white. And these ones. Okay, the white certainly... Ooh. Ooh. I like that. It's, it's really nice when you make a mistake and you go, hmm, 
actually, that looks better. So yeah, it's just a sort of, um, it's sort of like a cover area. I don't really know why restaurants have it because there's so many gaps. It doesn't stop rain from coming through, but it just works. Um, and then maybe as soon as there's sort of like a, a gourmet high-end sort of restaurant, I was thinking about a little fire going on in here. I'm pretty sure I got fire spread off, so we shouldn't need to worry about it. Netherrack, flint and steel. And it should sit nice and low down because we've got the slabs above. Yeah. And then getting some couch. Red or black? I'll go with black. Hoop. Nope. Nope. Hoop. Hoop. Hold on. Hold on. It's okay. I can fix this. I can fix this. It's okay. No need to panic. I can still hear it. Game rule. Uh, what is it? I don't think you can change fire spread. Can you? Uh, fire. I don't think you can change it in game. I think you have to go into the configs. Okay, that makes that idea then. Forget I even said that. Forget I mentioned any anything about fire. Uh, I thought it'd be cool to have like some chairs around the side of it, but it's okay. Uh, it's just gonna be cool because they would have sat down in the ground like that, which I just looks so smart. Um, but uh, I think we can do it in another way. We'll have it like that and like that. Just like the little ground chairs because we're on slabs, which makes it really, really hard. But I thought maybe you could lay down in front of the fire out there, you know, with a couple of beers and stuff. Um, yeah, maybe you could have like a little, what they call chimneys, aren't they? A uh, cobblestone wall would probably work the best for that. Hmm. Uh, see, and that's where you would light, you'd like a fire in there, a furnace. Ah, oh, no, yeah, we've we've changed the look of it, haven't we? Yeah, no, you'd uh, you you'd have like I, I, I'm going to put that there, and then you'd sort of keep stoking that with wood, and this would be like the smoke out the top, and it would be like a little outdoor um, uh, heating. Yeah, really smart. Uh, see them on a few buildings uh, around restaurants uh, relatively near me. But anyway, let's do the inside. Let's take this away. I know what the uh, the layout of what we want. We can see it in the in the dirt. And yeah, seating area, kitchen, uh, serving area, nice and easy. So uh, for the counters, we want something mm, traditional. I think I want to go with the more traditional interior with some uh, a few little modern features so we want a modern-ish block something like a clay would work yeah like a light clay i think i can hear water i don't think that's fire i can hear i hope not at least so we have uh, those four as the counter blocks and we need something for a wall i think we're going to need to have both of these and we're going to try and match the exterior blocks and uh the exterior walls and the interior walls and uh, we don't need to go up super high. We definitely don't need to, don't need to go a high, as high up as that. I think maybe one more. And have this come down here. This is obviously the, the garage door that would open up for deliveries. Could even change that to look like a garage door uh, if we wanted to. Uh, I'm not going to put the full uh, spruce blocks in. I think I'm going to go with slabs as a... Ooh... Yes, as a sort of coving around the edge. Uh, I don't think I want to do it over there. And then uh, this is going to be ground floor. That doesn't matter. There's a few blocks that I need to just f fill in. Those ones. Those ones. That one. And that one. Anything where we have the sandstone, we can put this sort of alternating slab on. And that one. Uh, that part I don't mind because there's going to be a ceiling on top of this. For the ceiling, I think we're going to go with the smooth stone. Uh, I don't need to have slabs for this. I can just go with mossy, which is this block. And I think I think I can get away with that and have these across the top. How does that look on a little section like this? Yeah, that's going to work. It's a nice height. We don't need it all the way up to... Uh, where the roof currently is uh, because what you're going to fill up 
that space with high up. You're not going to be able to fill it with anything, and the building's going to look really weird uh, being that tall on the inside. So we'll just put all of these down in here. I'm not going to use World Edit because I'll screw it up. I always do with interiors. And, uh, oh yeah, and we're going to want to do it over here as well. Uh, I'll be back. And you guys glad that I cut out all the boring bits. Alright, um, I just came around the back here and you see this uh, spruce section. This is obviously the outside, uh, you know, block that is, is visible on the inside. But I don't like how it looks. However, I think I know a way that could work. If we get stairs, spruce stairs, and we put these down here, from the outside, it's still the full block. So it's still, it's still like a full face. So it's going to look no different from the outside. But from the inside, we end up with a, a cool kitchen coving that then doesn't look out of place. We're sort of uh, wrapping it into the rest of the building. Rather than having just a, a, a random length of full blocks there, which just made no sense. So we're sort of incorporating the, all of this in. Uh, like that. Yep, that works. So let's just double check on the outside, make sure we get no weird lighting glitches, which is possible, I suppose, from this. But no, it looks really good. So these are stairs now. As you can see, if I'm clicking on them, if I go there, click on them, it always hotkeys to my stairs because that's what they are when you middle click on a one. So yeah, it looks no different from the outside, uh, but from the inside, we now have something that doesn't look terrible. Weather clear. Wonderful. Getting dark. We're going to have to start thinking about lighting next. I want... There's a few different options. We've got torches, we've got redstone lamps, we've got uh, glowstone, we've got beacons... And we've got things like lamps uh, and tall lamps and stuff. I think I like these. I think I like the black ones for some corner ones. Uh, but I'm not going to use these lamps. We've used these lamps in a lot of interiors already. And I'm not going to use glowstone or beacons because we've done that a lot already. I'm going to use redstone lamps because that's something that we haven't done. We also have a nice void space above here in order to be able to power them as well. So if we had something like that one and that one and they blend in really nicely with the spruce it's a really nice sort of color match and then we have those ones if I do that in line with that one that should be all we need for like big lights in here and then the rest we can light up with little ones yeah how smart does that look yeah 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 okay so if I go above here now uh, lever just trying to remember where they all were so I can leave them without having to go underneath. Ah, yes. Uh, redstone blocks will be easier. Oops. Just doing them like that. And about here? Yeah. <laughs> Whew, that's lucky. And about here? Nope. Where is it? A little bit over here. There. There. And there. Okay. Cover those back up again. So we've now got... It's nice and lit on the inside here. And I have these uh, tall lamps. I'm just going to place one down somewhere. So I can grab it if I accidentally get rid of it. Uh, which we're going to place behind tables and chairs. For the floor. It's tricky now because we've got a certain, we've got a particular colour palette that we need to try and match to. And the floor is covered so much. Uh, it's going to be tough. What if we went with a wool? A grey, a grey wool carpet floor, a mix of both greys, 35.7 and 35.8, let's give it a go. We'll go from there, oh no I can't, uh, uh, let's just do a section for the minute. I can't do too crazy because we end up covering the um, sugarcane water blocks. Uh, set 35.7 and 35.8 wasn't it, was that right? Oh, that's 25.8. 35.8. Trying to think, like, if that was the entire floor. It's sort, it's, it sort of works. It's close. Uh, what about adding some brown in there? 35.12 as well. Yeah, no, that works. I'm happy with that. So we'll do that one. 
and down there. And for the kitchen, I think I want it to be a different. I want it to be a checkered pattern with red and something like maybe just red and red and white checker pattern. I think it would look cool for the floor in there. But yeah, this is great for the floor of the restaurant itself. Nice randomized pattern. Looks pretty nice. Uh, for the uh, furniture, uh, we are going to go with red. Like I done the red sofas on the outside. I want red sofas on the inside as well. We may have some normal chairs as well. Uh, but that's going to match the red tiles in the kitchen. So we're sort of implementing uh, a main color in that, doing it this way. So we'll have one like this or some tables dark oak I think to contrast with the chairs then uh, you can't really get in there no I'm gonna have more of a bar one in the corner there like this and that and then we'll have more of one like this oops make sure they're facing the right way the same way at, at least uh, then we want uh, a big table you always have one big table in a restaurant don't you for the big parties make sure the tables facing the right way and then over here we can have the sort of smaller little chair style ones that one and that one for the couples oops yep yeah. it's mostly a you know it's mostly a, a take a fast food restaurant isn't it you know that's what we've sort of gathered from the drive through and stuff so we don't want to go too crazy with chairs i think that's more than enough seating on the inside here. That's more than most fast food restaurants seem to have. Uh, I need a door to get into this area. So we're going to go door. Uh, is it like a Chinese? Yeah. Like a Chinese style door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just cool to have. Um, I think I want to have, see how we have this oak on the outside. I think I want to have that on the inside as well. Do I want it on that level or on this level? I think I want it on this level. Let me get the full block difference then. The full block between the two. If I stand on the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I'm not standing on a chair, it doesn't look quite as weird. Yeah, when I'm down on the floor. That looks about right. Happy with that. Uh, and then some shelves. Some shelves. Uh, some nice sprucey shelves. No. Shelves. Black shelves. I don't want the dark oak to match the tape. Well, maybe the dark oak to match the tape. Meh. Yeah, okay. Shelves. We'll go with dark oak then to match the uh, the tables here. That one. It's a little high. That's a little low. No, I like the high. There, there, and there. I'll have that one. Oh, yeah, these lamps. See, I told you I'd forget if I didn't place one down. So then these will go in like little gaps, like between the chairs. And the black's just a real nice accent. We'll have one on the corner there. Yeah, on the corner there works. And one in the corner there. So it lights up all of those little dark spots then, while also sort of keeping with the, the colour palette and, and the atmosphere. Uh, if we can get some paintings, something that doesn't look terrible, yeah, it works. I need to be careful with the paintings because a lot of the paintings now aren't, um, aren't like painting paintings anymore. They're KFC logos and stuff like that. Works great, works great, works great. Why does that... Oh, I see. Yeah, of course it would. Yeah, move that over by one. Yeah, there we go. M much neater. How did I get that wrong in the first place? Uh, I like the wood parts being nice and clear. Uh, I think I think we're about there. I think that gives a little bit more of a Chinese feel. Uh, sort of panda atmosphere. Uh, I'll get this so I don't forget. And I think we're good. I don't think there's anything else that I'm missing from like this part of the restaurant, the seating area. Oh, what about some candle lit? Some dandel, some candle lit tables as well. Just like a couple of them. There we go. Just like a couple of candle lit ones. I like that. All right. Uh, carpet. Carpet red. We're trying to really utilize the uh, the red as an accent. I'm not sure if I like this clay. We end, we didn't end up really utilizing that as an actual block at all. Um, dark oak is more of a... Uh, of a block that would suit better, I think. There's no point in having four blocks of one, uh, you know, you know, four, yeah, four blocks of one block if they're the only blocks of that type in the entire building. It just doesn't make sense. Yeah, I think I like the dark oak better. Uh, stair for a till. 
We call them tills. You might call them cash registers. I know people get confused sometimes when I call them a till. Uh, it's cash register. Uh, red. I want red clay. And I want uh, some sort of white or just off-white. Uh, not mossy. Snow is what we've got in the walls. Iron blocks. Ah, chiseled quartz. Perfect. It's, it's not exactly perfectly white. And it's got a pattern to it. Perfect, oops, style kitchen. Did that just ruin the plant? Nope. There we go. I, th I placed one down right where the water was. I thought that might like pop the sugar cane off or something like that. But uh, it didn't. I don't know if you need, I know you need water by sugar cane to plant it. But I don't know if, if once you've placed it, if you can then take it away, if it will stay. I've never, I've never tried it. Yeah, so this is like proper sort of gourmet ah, door, gourmet style floor in here. Door. Which one was it? That one. Right there. And then we've got our furnaces that have been retextured to look like modern sort of ovens. This is going to work absolutely perfectly. Oops, perfectly in here. Ah, stop getting it wrong. It's not too much red. I don't think the red sort of takes away from the restaurant. I think it's a really cool uh, design. Slab. I want to have a slab. Oops. That just goes along the top of here. Because I don't like the sort of top of the iron block sort of being visible there. I like that a lot more. I might even do it something like this. Just as like the runners of the garage door. I know we have garage doors, but I like the iron blocks better. Uh, furnace. Furnaces go on the inside here. Uh, I don't want them like in the delivery sort of zone. I want crates and stuff in the delivery zone. Fridges and stuff. I think I want the ovens out here. We don't want them by the door. Uh, I might put a wall up here. Yeah, there's still enough room. That's good. And then... Have that going around the side there. Oop, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I want to have a double door. Oh, you can just see through it too. Look, it's like like that paper thin star stuff. That's so cool. And that one. I might have to change how the lights go in here now. To something like that. I think looks a little bit neater. Uh, that one. And that one, that one. Yeah, I think that looks just better. Facing the other way and being off-centered. Uh, yep, perfect. We want uh, crates. That crate, that crate, that crate. And I think I like the stone crates too. And some barrels. Uh, the syrup for the Fantas and stuff like that that you always get. Do you guys know that they come in, in, in barrels? They do. That's no lie. I'm not, not joking there. Phantom and stuff all come in, in barrels. They're syrup to begin with. And then they get, uh, I don't know, mixed in with water and, and stuff. And it, it waters them down until, uh, per bang, you get Fanta and Pepsi and Tango and 7-Up and stuff. They're not like that to begin with. <laughs> they come in big barrels of syrup. I got offered a load of them once. All right. Yeah, that's what I want in there. Nice little storage room. Is there lights in there? There is some lights. I think I'm going to double them up to a big 4 by 4 It just centers it nicely then. I like how we got through that door. Look. Like they move, they close slow enough that you can get through them while they're closing. You can't do that in vanilla Minecraft, I'm sure. Alright, all of the stairs on this side look fine. Uh, I want more ovens. I'm going to go ovens to there. We're going to get some stairs for the extractor fans. Like that. Uh, cobblestone wall to go up here and ooh, it goes right into the stupid light. Uh, I might put the lights between it then. Ugh, go away. Yeah, I think that works. It joins up to the lights, but it doesn't really matter. They're like the pipes that go up and out. Uh, we want 
uh, some sort of painting as a splashback. I don't know which one we really want. Let's have a look at the choices that we've got. I think if we can get the cactus ones to go next to each other, that would be sick. But it's not going to be easy to do, is it? Monitor. I can't see why we would need that for anything here. I'm, get, I'm going to get them all cactus and I shall be back. Oh, 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 oh. I might not need to cut away. Yeah, look at that. Hey. As soon as it knew I was going to cut, it was like, no, I'll, I'll, I'll be good. Cauldron. For some sinks. Uh, I don't want them there. I think I want the sinks over here. In those two spots. Uh, lever. Uh, tripwire hook. I think it's a little bit smaller. There we go. Uh, water. I'm going to put one of these and fill it up with water. But the other one I'm going to leave empty. I'm going to have this go around like that with the red on top. And we're going to have to have it on here. Ooh, down this side as well. So then... They can pass their food to you. Uh, we need another till as well on this side, don't we? Till. Cash register. I should always call them cash registers. Everybody knows what a cash register is. Only people from the UK know what a till is. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. Uh, wrap this around the edge. Keep that pattern going. Ooh, there we go. I think we're there. I think we're good. Uh, that's where they take your money. This is where they pass you with the food after it's been cooked. Uh, yeah. Anything else? Let's have a quick look down here. Uh, some plants, some flowers I don't think are really necessary. Uh, maybe some cactus. Cactus on the shelf. Flower pot. Cactus. It just, like, I think it's going to suit really well in, the, in a building like this. We'll have it on that one. And on that one. And one on the table. Because why not? Uh, I could put them on here as well, look. How cool is that? I might I might do some different plants then. I didn't think of that. Uh, the blue ones, yes. This one and the purple one, I think, are the ones sort of best suited for this. We're going to have a blue one there, a blue one there. A white one. A purple one. And then I'm going to swap out this one for a purple one. I want one more white one somewhere. Where? Down here. White one. Yeah! Alright, so that's added a sort of a little bit of sort of colour touch to it. Anything else that we would want? Do you want any juke boxes in the corner or note blocks in the corners for speakers? Uh, like when you get a little bit of uh, music going on in these places? You used to have a few little speakers about, didn't you? We'll have two. Ambient music going about. Uh, nothing else, I don't think. I think we're there. Ah, yeah, no. Um, dispenser. Yes, dispenser. Cola machine. Always need a cola machine. Uh, where do I want to put this? I'm going to put this over here. That's so cool. Uh, and we know that this works. We've seen this before. We can put a button down there. Get some Coca-Cola, which are actually apples. Bing. How cool is that? <laughs> if you guys enjoyed it, then hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode. This is now... Uh, a really, really nice finished restaurant. So let's just take a quick look with the shaders. I will. I promise. I'm going to get... A new shader pack. I'm going to get a shader pack for interiors. And I'm going to get a shader pack that's going to work nicely on exteriors to get the water working properly. I will do it. I promise. But yeah, from the outside, such a cool looking building. I like how it's sort of uh, near the other restaurants. We're right near KFC. We're right near the Pigs restaurant. You know, it's that sort of area. It just looks so... I, that's my favourite side, that one. And I really like the back too. I like all the sides. No, I like all the sides. I like this building in general. Oh, raining. Yeah, I like I like all of the sides in general. I, it's it's a really nice building. And then on the inside, let it adjust a little bit. Yeah, it's not the best shader pack for interiors. What the hell is going on with that fire? Look. Oh wow. It's like like goth goth fire, black fire. But it works. It, it, it actually doesn't look too bad. 
Yeah, and we've got a couple of doors to get into the storage areas. Yeah. All right, if you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. We shall see you whoops, in the next episode.